Hello everybody, my name is Frank. I'm responsible for the Breeder Journal, uh, which you get every week. The current situation with the coronavirus has led to many changes. I'm sure you are all aware of those. And one of these changes is how we can continue working together. And uh, quite a few of you have expressed an interest to continue with some online work and I have spent the last few days reconstructing how we can do this. And I would just like to quickly introduce to you the Breeder Journal worksheets and how they will help you improve your English. Now, uh, the journal, uh, sorry, the, uh, the address is journalbreeder.eu worksheets. You will find it um, on the journal itself as well as on the uh, landing page of the journal. And if you click on that, you come to this part here where you have all the different parts of all of the different English courses that I offer. So uh, the articles, uh, travel and tourism, for those who do travel and tourism courses with me, and then all the different sections of the Breeder Journal, the culinary section, the shopping area, the job center, the classifieds, the weather, the local business, and I'll come to that in a minute. So, just to quickly show to uh, show you how this works, if we click on this week's articles, for instance, here you click on the item, it'll take you to this page, and here you will see a selection of articles, and gradually they get replaced. So the one that's at the bottom gets replaced, and then a new one comes on top. And what you do is you click on the um, on the tick here and it'll take you to a page. Now most of the pages look like this. You have the text, you can listen to the text, then you have a vocabulary exercise. So again you can look at some of the vocabulary, you can listen to its pronunciation, then some sort of writing exercise where you translate, uh, in this case, you translate the words into your own language. So, and what you do is you write your, your name here, and then you write your email address, not mine, but your own email address. And for instance, uh, also where you live, that's just a little bit of fun for me to see where people are when they do this exercise, okay? Now the reason I would like your email address is simply that when you have completed the exercise, it is sent to me for evaluation and feedback, and you have a written record as well of the exercise and the words, etc. Yeah? And then you go through what you have to do. So in this case, we have to translate the words into your own language. So whatever the word flavored is, is in your language, then you just write the word here. And uh, crispy cracker may be made or something like that. You just fill it all out and then you click on send. And then it gives you a confirmation uh, that I will get back to you. And then it goes its merry way. I get a copy, you get a copy, and then I send you back some feedback. Back. And it's the same principle with all of these exercises. Then, going back to this, if you look at the speaking exercise, this is a little bit different because you also have the possibility to send me voice messages. And the way you do that is you go and have a look at what the exercise asks you to do. Exercise 1 speak the vocabulary into the speaking app, send to Frank. This is important, please. Please start with this sentence, 13, 20, lasagna vocabulary, or whatever is written here, so I know what you are talking about. And then you have some words, and then what you do is you click on this application here, start recording. Now, it is important that you prepare what you want to say beforehand, because when you start recording, it does exactly that. It starts recording.
You have a maximum of 90 seconds per recording, which I am sure you will find more than enough. If you need more time, you will have to make a second recording and send me two recordings. When you are finished, you click on Stop. You write your name and your email address so that I know it's coming from you and I can send you back some feedback. If you are not happy with your recording, you can press on Reset, Delete it, and then it starts again. So this is the format, and this format applies to the majority of the exercises that you see in culinary, shopping, etc. So go and have a look at that, um, and you'll find some interesting, some very practical exercises. For those who do the travel um, courses with me, uh, it is pretty much the same format. At the moment, we're looking at Vancouver and Stockholm. And again, you click on here. And there's a little introduction video. And then there are some practical exercises that say you arrive in Vancouver Airport and we have the Flight Arrivals Board of Vancouver Airport. And then I have some questions. You can listen to the questions, you can read the questions, and then you can send me an answer uh, using the voice message and some words, etc. So again, the whole process continues the same way. Or you can do a writing exercise and so on. So that would be that. And the same applies to um, the same applies to Stockholm. Again, there's a little video. And then you have, for instance, the hotel that we chose, which is the Hotel Esplanade. And then you have the overview and some impressions of people who stayed in this hotel and again you have some exercises to work with. If we look at the journal itself, um, Breeder Classifieds, uh, this is the language of everyday things. So this is an exercise to improve your vocabulary and you click on that and again you see the same format uh, you have the text, you have the audio file, and then you have a vocabulary exercise. So again, looking at some words, you listen to the pronunciation, you translate the words into your own language, and maybe some grammar exercises here. Then you have the writing exercise. So um, some reading comprehension. Yeah, so you have to read the text and then answer the questions. And also some exercises to make you explore the topic a little bit more. So if you have a garden or similar, write about it. For instance, how big is it? What do you grow? How much time do you spend working in the garden? Are you happy with your garden? Some guiding questions for you there. Again, your name, your email, where you live. In this case, you have to write the topic uh, in this box here. And because the idea of this process is to share the articles with others, you can say whether you want the article presented in the Preda Journal, yes or no. So yes would be great because then others can share and learn from you as well. Then you can write the text in your own language. We let Google translate it, or if you feel confident enough, you can write your text straight away in English here. And then you send it to me, and we work with it. Now, the speaking exercises are, again, very practical. So we've gone through the normal speaking exercises, pronunciation exercises, some numbers maybe for those who have difficulty with the numbers. But then, for instance, a speaking exercise would be you are interested in buying some containers, ring the company and leave a message on their voicemail. Then you have some instructions. And again, what you do, 
is you click on start recording after you have prepared your your uh, uh, text and then you can send it off to um, off to us business we have three companies at the moment you may be a little bit familiar with them we have property john custom travel and the rose petal uh, these will stay on for a little bit longer the others usually get changed after a week you click on the rose petal and again the same format some vocabulary some writing and some speaking now we go down to we look at this we go down to breeder global topic of the month etc the breeder global is the writing area and you have some topics that uh, you can write about or if you wish i have now also included a open topic so here you can choose what you want to write about and you enter here and once again you have a little bit of an introduction how to use this page and then you find exactly the same format with your name your email uh, for those who do, do this on Facebook, your messenger name, uh, whether you want it in uh, the Breeder Journal or not, where you live, your working title, and then again in your own language or directly in English. Yeah. So, how does this all work? This is an online course, but you have my support. So it all comes to me. I look at it. It might take one or two days, depending how much volume I get in and how many other activities I have to do. So please be a little bit patient, uh, especially the voice messages. They do take a little bit longer to process. Um, but I hope this helps you, um, not just during the time when we have to stay at home, but also for the future as well. So use it, enjoy it. Let's continue working together, and I hope everything is okay for you uh, while we are in confinement. And please, as we all say, wash your hands a little bit more often, and good luck for the time being. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.